Welcome back folks, we're at Grenada again. This is gonna be a great episode. This is a uh, pre-fish day before the Crappie USA event that I'm doing here uh, tomorrow actually. So we're gonna have a nice day. Unfortunately, it is gonna be very windy, but temperature wise, we're gonna get up in the 80s. I know I got a jacket on. Right now it's about 42, but it actually is gonna be a very warm day and uh, looking forward to it. So we're doing a lot of exploring. We're on the north arm because we're playing the wind for tomorrow. The wind's gonna be coming out of the west and the north, and we're preparing for that. Even though we're gonna have a strong southeast wind today, we're on the wrong side of the lake technically, but uh, we're gonna fish it anyway and see if we can't find something in these nooks and crannies, that type of thing. So 13 footer, uh, I still got the uh, 12 pound sniping braid on. We're using single, the hair jigs, the 116 options I have on my website. So if you wanna check those out, you can. There's two options right now in 116. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get out here, put some big fish in the boat. Yesterday's big fish was a two and a half, which was awesome. Did I get that on camera? I did get that on camera, so here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Well, the wind is definitely up, and the wind did something that was unfortunate. It uh, did exactly the opposite direction that it was forecasted. So it was forecasted out of the south, and uh, you guessed it, it's coming out of the north, which is extremely frustrating because I don't know what I should do right now on a lake that I'm supposed to be pre-fishing. So I found myself in a little cove here, and uh, we got a nice little stake bed here, and I see, believe, one fish in there for sure. So we're gonna drop this bait in there and see if we can't get lucky right here. Yeah, fish are only about four foot down, so. And because the wind is so high, we have really got some visibility issues with even live scope. It is really cloudy. I'm surprised they're not taking that yet. You guys ever notice that? If it's, uh, if it's really windy or wavy, the picture actually gets kind of fuzzy. Ooh, and I completely airballed that one. took the paint off that jig head there, and I still missed it. He's curious. There he is. Got him. Boy, he finally succumbed. <laughs> That's so much fun. It is not the biggest fish that I'd kind of do it, but it's still probably about 11 inch fish. Of course we let them go. That's how we roll. This is what I'm fishing with right here. This is the uh, 3 16 three pound fishing head. That is your uh, brush pile jig. And it actually, this is the ghost hunter. Ghost hunter and it's the 2.5 inch diver which i like they seem to like it here this is about the third fish i've actually caught on it today i haven't shown you every one because of the wind sometimes you just gotta shut the camera off because you ain't gonna enjoy it with all the wind noise anyways changing locations one thing you'll uh, 
one thing you'll understand about Grenada is that uh, when the wind blows the opposite direction, it can really take you for a loop, especially on your boat ramps. You have to know what that wind's doing on Grenada because it just gets really dangerous and uh, ser seriously difficult for a single. So we are now gonna move to the other arm of the lake. And, uh, and if the wind makes its original switch where it's supposed to be, <laughs> Then I'll be hosed there. So, but that's you know that's pre-fishing. That's that's trying things out. And just know when you go to Grenada, pay very close attention to the wind. And at the end of the day, they uh, it, it, the weatherman might be wrong too. So trying to think uh, what what I can share with you. Well, we make a, take this uh, car ride. Um, guide trips are going great. Give me a holler. Um, you can reach me at threepoundfishing at gmail.com post spawn on lake vijip my home lake is incredible um, so it, it's also on rin lake it's a very good time to, to, to fish those lakes so uh reach out to me uh, down here in grenada you know the people i talk about a lot is ptg they've got a great outfit down here so if you have any electronic needs you need work on your boat in fact i'm going to be stopping by there today Maybe I'll take you in there with me. Uh, they're your great source for baits and anything you need here. It's always amazing. I talked to Patsy up church yesterday, yesterday and um, how long it, it has taken for this to occur to Grenada. They just always deserved a very nice place and now they have it with BTG. So check them out. All right, let's get back on the water. I'm gonna take this uh, 20 minute car, car ride as a break and be back at it all right guys we're gonna end it um, the wind is just too bad and uh, but we did get one good fish and unfortunately I did not get it on camera. here's your grenade of fish for the day unfortunately that's the biggest fish we got and uh, well it wasn't the best pre-fish day but had a lot of fun Learned some coves that I normally would never have fished and uh, caught some fish in them. So that's always a that's always a positive on days like this. So anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, pr please subscribe. Check out those sniping braids. Those things are awesome. This 12 pound is outstanding well, for a lake like this. I think optimized is probably even a better fit personally, but some guys just want to have that confidence that it's gonna hold. So you, you go up to a 12 pound, which most, you know, it's still an extremely thin line. It's a 0.15. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Boom, I'm out. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.